Chapter fifty seven of Revelations of Divine Love read for LibriVox.org by David Barnes. Revelations of Divine Love by Julian of Norwich Anent certain points in the foregoing fourteen revelations. Chapter fifty seven In Christ our two natures are united. And anent our substance he made us noble and so rich that evermore we work his will and his worship. Where I say we, it meaneth man that shall be saved. For soothly I saw that we are that which he loveth, and do that which him pleaseth, lastingly without any stinting, and that by virtue of the great riches and of the high noble virtues by measure come to our soul what time it is knit to our body in which knitting we are made sensual. And thus in our substance we are full, and in our sense-soul we fail, which failing God will restore and fulfil by working of mercy and grace, plenteously flowing into us out of his own nature-goodness. And thus his nature-goodness maketh that mercy and grace work in us, and the nature-goodness that we have of him enableth us to receive the working of mercy and grace. I saw that our nature is in God whole, in which whole nature of manhood he maketh diversities flowing out of him to work his will, whom nature keepeth and mercy and grace restoreth and fulfilleth. And of these none shall perish, for our nature that is the higher part is knit to God in the making, and God is knit to our nature that is the lower part in our flesh-taking, and thus in Christ our two natures are one, for the Trinity is comprehended in Christ in whom our higher part is grounded and rooted, and our lower part the second person hath taken, which nature first to him was made ready, for I saw full surely that all the works that God hath done, or ever shall, were fully known to him, and aforeseen from without beginning. And for love he made mankind, and for the same love would be man. The next good that we receive is our faith, in which our profiting beginneth, and it cometh out of the high riches of our nature substance into our sensual soul, and it is grounded in us through the nature goodness of God, by the working of mercy and grace. And thereof come all other goods by which we are led and saved, for the commandments of God come therein, in which we ought to have two manners of understanding, the one is that we ought to understand and know which are his biddings, to love and to keep them. The other is that we ought to know his forbiddings, to hate and to refuse them. For in these two is all our working comprehended. Also in our faith come the seven sacraments, each following other, in order as God hath ordained them to us, and all manner of virtues. For the same virtues that we have received of our substance, given to us in nature by the goodness of God, the same virtues by the working of mercy are given to us in grace through the Holy Ghost, renewed, which virtues and gifts are treasured to us in Jesus Christ. For in that same time that God knitted himself to our body in the virgin's womb, he took our sensual soul, in which taking he, us all having enclosed in him, wand it to our substance, in which wanning he was perfect man. For Christ having knit in him each man that shall be saved, is perfect man. Thus our Lady is our mother, in whom we are all enclosed, and of her born in Christ. For she that is mother of our Saviour, is mother of all that shall be saved in our Saviour. And our Saviour is our very mother, in whom we be endlessly born, and never shall come out of him. P. 
plenteously and fully and sweetly was this showed, and it is spoken of in the first, where it saith, We are all in him enclosed, and he is enclosed in us. And that enclosing of him in us is spoken of in the sixteenth showing, where it saith, He sitteth in our soul. For it is his good pleasure to reign in our understanding blissfully, and sit in our soul restfully, and to dwell in our soul endlessly, us all working into him, in which working he willeth that we be his helpers, giving to him all our attending, learning his laws, keeping his laws, desiring that all be done that he doeth, truly trusting in him. For soothly I saw that our substance is in God. End of chapter 57. This recording is in the public domain.